Hello and welcome back to Atlas. And I ended up taming a crab after last episode when I mis magically got my stuff back from the game crashing. Probably one of the few and only times in my life where a game crash helps me out. But here we go. He's a big crab. He's still loading in because I just loaded the game. But eventually he'll stop looking like Play-Doh in clay at one point. Whee! Really? You couldn't even jump up that. What are you good for? There we go. Big, nice, jumpy crab. Ooh. Almost fell through the ground. You can also apparently, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, you can pick up bears and stuff. But I, I don't know what the button is to do that. Nope. 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 X. C. Control. O. V. I don't know what the button is. I don't really play with the crabs. I never even played with the crabs in Atlas. Not Atlas, sorry. Ark. It's, I don't know, it was never really, never really any point. I just wanted to tame one, just to say I tamed one. And I actually don't mind the look of it. I like that blue, kind of, radioactive look type thing. It, it, you know what, it kind of reminds me of something that you'd find in like a Fallout game. Anyway, let's just put this crab away that is extremely slow. And probably never going to be used, if I'm to be honest with you. Um... You do spin around 360 though, but... Whee! Alright, let's get on. Anyway. So, what did I want to do today? Well, today I wanted to do something a little bit different than the usual building or sailing around blowing stuff up thing. What I wanted to do today is basically a giant waste of time, but I think it should be fun to see. I want to see how fast is the fastest ship I can possibly make. Now, I thought I had two options to do this. I've got two. I got a mod on this on my game called Custom Sails or something that makes all the sails um, one sail unit, so you can put a few on. That's how I've got like three large sails on this ship and all that kind of stuff. Or I was going to do the vanilla, just use the vanilla sails. The thing is, I don't think the vanilla sails are going to be all that interesting. So. Instead, we are definitely going to go for the modded sails. And again, this is just a test for fun, so there's no real point to this other than me just being an idiot. Now, I can't really control the wind. It's just something I've got no control over in this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build all of the ships first. They're just going to be basic ships, nothing fancy. I'm going to build them all. I'm going to have them all lined up outside the bay ready to go. Uh, I'm going to put beds on them this time, so I remember to do that. Why have I still got squid guts on me? I don't, I don't want squid guts. I'm going to line them all up outside the bay, like I said. So hopefully, with any luck... Is that cooked or is that just raw? It was raw. <laughs> That's one way to find out. So hopefully, with any luck, I'll be able to sail from one point to another point and then fast travel back to a bed and then fast and then sail the next boat over to try and get the best possible outcome with the wind not changing too much but before I do all that I have to actually gather up all the resources to build the ships so you're gonna have to wait a whole grand total of like a second while I spend the next hour or two hours or so or whatever long it takes to gather up all the resources required to make all of these ships. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing the sloop. I'm going to be doing a schooner, and I'm going to be doing a galleon and the brig. I freaking forgot the brig. We got to do a scoop, schoon, scoop, sloop, schooner, brig, galleon. Four ships. The four ships that are in the game at the moment, at least the proper ships anyway. And we're going to see how they'll go. So I see you once they're ready to take off. Okay, well, I've started getting all of this stuff crafted up here, and now what we need to do is we need to find where I have a small... Oh, that reminds me, actually. Uh, Y'all need to be thrown out. Hey, really? You couldn't just give me... There. I need to throw out this mythos, because I didn't do it at the end of the last episode, and I said I would. So, out you go disappear. 
Now what I need to do is I need to make a small shipyard. But I think, I swear I saw one somewhere. It wasn't there. You have my combat there. And you don't have a shipyard on you. I should probably empty you. Did you have a shipyard on you? No, you didn't. It was a bed, wasn't it? Come on. I know one of you remember which animal I had a small shipyard on. Aha! I knew it. Now, where to put this small shipyard? I really wish Discord would shut up. It's been beeping all night. So we can't really actually put the small shipyard in this area because, you know, it's completely shallow. And that would be pointless because that would just sink absolutely every ship that I try to launch out of it. And while that might be fun to watch, destroying random ships is not the point of today. So, where are we going to put this? Let's, can't put this here. I think we're going to have to put it over near the... Um, main shipyard thing. I'm gonna check something. Okay. I haven't put the walls there. It doesn't matter. I bet you don't even know what I'm talking about. Totally not talking about the big gap that's underneath you. Um, so this is the main shipyard. Alright. Now, where are we gonna put another small shipyard? Maybe. Oop, okay, in the water we go. Maybe what we do is we put it over here. I can't see what I'm doing. I don't want it that way. I want it more like this. Can we? Can we make this shipyard kind of like this? There. I don't think that's exactly the way I want it. I've got 20 seconds to check. No. No, no, no. I probably should have picked it up from the other side, but I probably also didn't have the time to do it. Okay, so I want to take the... If I can get on the surface of the water. Now, I want the stairs to kind of... Merge? hard to do this. So this is very much going to be like a guessing game. Can... I had it like almost perfect then. There we go. How'd that look? Get up. Stop complaining about the cold. I know you're dying from it. But it is what it is. Eh. That shouldn't clip a ship. Yeah, I can accept that. Kind of got like the two docks here together, hanging out. Oop, got stuck. This is just a normal shipyard though, so it doesn't like it's not like it really matters all too much. So what we need for this, that was rude. What we need is so two, three hundred fibre metal wood. That's that. So a thousand of each. Yes, I'm over counting. So we need a thousand of each material, and then for these guys as well. A lot of thatch. Okay, so 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 10,000. About 10,000 of each should be enough to make all of the ships that we need. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to make the ships, like I said, and then now, this time, when I come back, we shall be ready to test the stupid speed test. That is just absolutely pointless, but I think will be fine. All oh, the ships are going to look weird as hell, by the way. <laughs> but you probably figured that. So, I'll see you once that is complete. Alright. So, I've got all the ships kind of set up. The crew are about to mutiny in three hours, but you know what, that's not my problem. You, you do you, homies. We'll be home in less than three hours and you can get paid. Now, I've been sitting here, I've took me about, uh, ironically, it took me about three hours to build all these ships and up and everything. 
So we're good to go, except I've been waiting for a while now and the wind is just, it keeps slightly getting worse and worse. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to cheat. <laughs> I don't know if this actually works or not. We'll find out in a second. Yep, there's the W symbol on the ship. So now they should ignore all wind and we can actually do this test properly. So here we go. Which ship do you think is going to be fastest? You got this ship here, which is the Wally. Let's see how fast we get this one up to. So we're at 12 knots. We can do it. How long are we going to take to get across the land? Let's see. So we got an island coming up. We're sort of aiming right for it. Hopefully we can ignore the enemy ships. Now, this test is just for fun. <laughs> I'm just curious. Like this ship, I'm not too like, eh. It is what it is. It's gonna. It's probably. I, I don't. I, <laughs> I do not have much hope for this ship. It could only put two medium sails on it. But I needed four ships. Why did I need four ships? That way I could name my ships Wally, West, and Barry, and Allen. Alright? I'm sure someone can figure out why that is. So as we can see, this ship, mm, it's not that fast. I mean, this would be the fastest you can go. So 22.39 knots, kind of bouncing around that general area. It's slowly getting faster, actually. But yeah, this ship won't go any faster than this. So in a minute, once we finally reach land, because I want to try to see if I can actually time this properly, which, you know, <laughs> it's probably going to be a giant pain in the butt for me do but I feel like it's worth it because why not we get this something different and experimenting can sometimes be fun and this ship is just taking forever can we get to the destination already please that'd be great alrighty yeah. now there is a chance that the other ships may break my game <laughs> but uh We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, so, bam. That's that ship done. Next ship. Fast travel. Let's go to the west. Okay, travel to bed. Yes. Okay. What the hell was that sound? Alright, time to test out how fast we can get this one going. Let's see. Now I am going to count the time that it takes for the sails to open. No, I've buggered up. I've buggered up already. Dang it, I forgot to put the cheat on for the ship. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Of course I'd forget to do that. Of course I'd forget. It's alright, we can quickly reset. It shouldn't take too long and thankfully because of the cheat that I'm using so the wind doesn't actually affect these ships it's all good now in case anyone's wondering no I don't plan on using these ships ever again <laughs> so the cheat doesn't really matter okay because I understand that you don't want to cheat in the game come on it takes all the fun out of the game to be honest if you cheat but this is an experiment this isn't gameplay that's yeah, what it is I'm just truly, I'm seriously just trying to fill up time while I reposition the ship so I can take off again and do it properly. Okay. Can we line up next to the Barry, please? Okay. Alright, so we're completely stopped. Let's go. How fast can we get this ship up to? Now I am hoping I can get all of these ships close by because I'm going to have to come retrieve all of the uh, crew members back eventually. Oh crap. Um, can we even get it through the gap? Do you think we can make it through the gap? Don't cut me off damn it. Goddamn galleon. Don't mind me. Just blasting through. 
Yeah, suckers. Um, what are you doing? So we're at 34.7-ish knots. It seems to max out there. Alright, well that's interesting. So we are, uh, at, what was that, 12, 13 knots faster? Okay, the Barry, the Wally is a little bit to the right. We're just trying to keep the ships close, like I said. Make my life easier. The reason I wanted to do that is because I want to, after we do this, I'm going to go get the New Horizon Galleon and bring that back. And I feel like it would just make my life slightly easier for all the ships in here, boy. Okay, well the Wally is just there to the right. So, we'll probably call this here arrived. What do you think? I'm a little bit disappointed. I was kind of hoping the ship would crash. Okay, next ship to Barry. Yeah, fast travel. All right, brig. So this brig has eight sails on it. Now we've got to do the cheat this time. There we go. Let's see how she goes. All right, getting the sails down. This is just ridiculous. Come on, you can do it. So we're at 12 knots. 15. No, that's actually 16. Oh crap, there's a galleon in the way. Excuse me, galleon. You're in the way. No, you screw not. You're gonna ruin everything. Yeah. It, it bumped me, of course. This is not a fair test now. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, they kind of let me down a little bit. God damn it. We'll have to give um, the ship a... What do you think? Didn't slow me down too much, like a two second penalty. You think that'll be good? You think that's a good penalty for this? Alright. Okay, let's try and get this one in the line. Yep, alrighty. And... Arrived. <laughs> that's disappointing. So we got to 41 knots. Apparently it's still moving at the <laughs> pretty fast. Where's the damn bed? There it is. Okay, now the last one. The Allen. Alrighty. Where's your steering wheel? There we are. We go like this. We do ignore wind. And let's raise the sails. Or lower the sails? Lower the sails. That's what we want to do. So we got 41 on the other one, did we? I wasn't actually paying attention. I saw it the last second before I hit the rocks, so... Yeah. Replay will correct me. See how fast we can get this one. Uh, excuse me, I'm not very maneuverable in a galleon, just saying. Coming through. 29. So you got 16 sails on this boy, and we are not really getting anywhere. We're 42, alright. 42, not as fast as I thought we'd get. But it, it's something. 50. Come on. Crash the damn ship. Crash the ship, come on. Ah. <laughs> Look at the, t the ship trails. That's disappointing. I was really hoping that the ships would explode on impact. Every other time I drive the damn ship, if I even so much as tap the thing, I must have broken the physics or something. I don't know. But that was a good waste of time. Uh, not that very exciting. So, what we gotta do is... I gotta retrieve all this crew now, which sucks balls. <sighs> Maybe we can set this back up and head back home. Alright, because I didn't get my epic explosion of the ship as I had hoped, <laughs> I've decided that, you know what, I'm going to put normal sails on these. These are just the vanilla sails, so let's see how fast the ship can actually go. Just out of curiosity, because I was really banking on the big explosion of the ships and the sinking and the stuff, and that didn't happen, it makes me sad. But this is worth figuring out anyway. So, we're starting off significantly slower. I mean, obviously they're going to be slower, right? Yep, 22 
0.1 knot. Now keep in mind that the ship is set to ignore wind, so it really shouldn't make too much of a difference. But wow, you are getting close, my buddy, my friend. Really, really close, like too close to my island. Like a giant galleon. Oh. Yep, yeah, okay. Well I think we I think we saw that this one, this galleon, can only go twenty-two knots. Ugh. They're not shooting at me, which is interesting. It's an interesting thing in my bob that's not happening. But yeah, twenty two knots, that's that's what, half the speed of the other one? I suppose that makes sense actually because it's got half the sails, does it near? How many do I have? Two, four, six. So I got six instead of sixteen and it's only going half the speed. Alright. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this ship back. Because I'm not going to even bother timing it. It's like, I'm lazy. And we're going to grab the brick and see how much slower that is. Come on, you big piece of crap. Sink. Smack into the rock and get damaged and sink. 3,600. It's like really not that much damage, isn't it? That was disappointing. Okay. Now it's time to see. Oh no! Nope, hold on. I gotta put the cheat back on this. Um, set to ignore wind. Okay. Let's see how this one goes. So the other, uh, I think this ship actually got up to 45 knots with the modded sails on. The, the ridiculous amount that that, that uh, uh, English has just completely failed. Dude, galleon, mate, you don't really have to camp my front door. I don't appreciate it. I mean, you know, it's not really that cool, my man. Alright, let's see how fast we get with this one. A solid 20 knots. <laughs> That's if we had full wind, we'd have 20 knots. Yep. That is less than half. Only a little bit less, but still less than half. Alright, now, the last one. The schooner. I don't even really see the point of doing the schooner, to be honest with you. But, you know, for, you know, completionness sake, I don't know. We might as well see. I mean, just to complete it. Yeah, well, I'm not doing the sloop, I suppose. Who knows, we'll see. How much damage is this going to do if you hit a rock at full speed? None. That, that, that's just glitchy as all hell because I hit the galleon on that one before and they did like 3600 damage. Like what the hell man. Well seeing as neither of these, any of these ships sank, which I'm kind of disappointed with because I was really like wanting one of them to explode when I hit the rocks. Because I thought that'd be cool. Well, I've decided to go make other ships explode. And while I was doing that, I remembered there was a, a comment on one of my videos by Mark, I believe, who said half walls should protect you. So I've put some half walls here and hopefully they will provide some protection. I don't know, unless the cannonball goes over the top of the half wall somehow. But... It's time for us to continue our mission of clearing the seas. I just want something to go boom. I, I just want stuff to blow up. I mean, is that really so hard to ask? I mean, I started off by asking for ships I built to blow up. And they haven't. So I'm kind of... I'm a little bit salty about that. So where the hell is this galleon that was stalking my coastline? Bet you it's despawned. Because now I'm ready to take it out. Oh, there it is. Now, it actually took me a while to get these crew back on. It was a pain in the butt. It really was a pain in the butt. And I even cheated to do it. I used the fly command to get back and forth real quick because I could not be bloody bothered swimming from each ship to ship. So, that's why my thing is loaded up with fly commands. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. 
I'm just honestly trying to fill time, the time it takes me to get from here to here. Alright, so we're going to put you all aggressive. Oh, damn it. There's a cannon that doesn't have a crew member on it. Good work. And this is going to be our target. No. Fire! Whoa. You can't shoot at me like that. That's rude. Only I get to fire the cannons. Ow, 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 ow. How dare he? Doesn't he understand that... Come on, guys. You could have defeated that, then. That's alright. Let's take out this guy as well. One more shot. Come on. One more shot, guys. My sails are not at all facing the right direction for this battle. No, I don't want to be holding shift to turn. This is what I'm, this is what's killing me right now. Is me not playing around with the sails properly. I'm a little bit rusty. All right. It's been a few. Can you guys pick a side, please? Are you gonna come up on my left or are you gonna come up on my right? All right. Oh, look at you doing the turn on the spot maneuver. Isn't that great? All right. Yeah, yeah. You wanna fire your cannons at me? That's fine. It did not very good aim that far out. Oh, you're dead. And one more for good measure. Boom. You're dead. Awesome. Ah, that feels better now. That we finally killed something. Something finally exploded. And that makes me happy. But you know what? That's going to be it for this, guys. I hope you kind of enjoyed it. I mean, the, the ship racing speed thing wasn't nearly as exciting as I planned. Because they didn't sink. Like, ships just sink. Any other time my ship will sink. I guarantee I'll be sailing somewhere randomly and my ship will just sink. Especially when I'm not recording it. Because that's just the way life is. But if you like the episode, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. What's the other thing? Get a ring a bell. All that other stuff. And until next time, guys, have a good one. And I'll see you then. Bye. Now I've got to go pick up all this stuff that's floating in the ocean. Um, how'd those do? Nah, cannonballs still kind of get through a bit. Splash damage, I suppose. But they did. Yeah, they kind of did the job. Huh.